I think one of my favorite things about collecting 1-6 scale figures is that how customizable they are. Whether you want to go the traditional route of the vintage G.I. Joes or something more contemporary, the possibilities are endless. If you don't see a company making a figure or a character that you want, you're able to customize it to your own heart's desire. And I think that's what initially drew me into the 1-6 scale figures in general. There were often characters that weren't being released by, you know, the mainstream companies like Hasbro or Mattel. So seeing as, you know, action figures as they are started out in 12 inch scale, there's a lot more out there since they've been around longer. And to be honest with you, they're a lot easier to customize. Sure, there's that common uh, ground between them and Barbies, but that never bothered me anyways, because in the end, you're still able to customize it in a way that traditional action figures wouldn't allow. Six inch scale figures are actually coming around to that kind of mentality with things like Mezco 112 or even Dam Toys venturing into that scale. So it's interesting to see how these lines are kind of evolving together, so to speak. In my adventures into 1 6 scale figures, I started out with, you know, the vintage 12 inch G.I. Joes, and then I moved on to more military style figures, which I do in my free time and they're more kit bashed than anything else. I have no military background so more often than not I'm going off of what video games offer me. With that said, I then moved into Hot Toys. Well, you know, Hot Toys was one of those things where I always thought they were the pinnacle of action figure design but those pieces are more or less just like, they might as well be static figures in my opinion because those are at the price range that they're at are more fragile in the way that I wouldn't want to take them out on a photo shoot, to, so to speak. Now something else that I do appreciate about 1-6 scale figures is like I mentioned in the beginning, it's a platform for anyone to create whatever they want. It's easy to get into, it's easy to customize, and when you have the basic base body you can pretty much make anything you want. And that's where these designer figures come in because with that basic platform they're able to create characters that otherwise would have gone unmade because these things are expensive to make you know and especially coming in from a design premise where you don't have a movie you don't have a tv series it's interesting to see these uh creators put forth that effort and for the large part they're actually very successful and that's something that i would plan on doing at some point as well but I still got to work on the basics first you got to walk before you run so yeah i mean when it comes to one six scale figures i always am an advocate for people to at least get one Start out with a character that you don't necessarily have or something that you just want to create on your own. And that's the thing with 1-6 scale figures that I think it benefits it more than any other scale because there's more out there, there's more options. And with a lot of customizers out there, you're pretty much limited by your own imagination. So, I don't know. I mean, when it came to creating this video, I just wanted to make a little video to show my appreciation for anyone out there that's creating these figures and the companies that continue to support this scale. You know, and like I said, if you look back at the original 12 inch G.I. Joe, it's crazy to see how far we've come, you know, and to, to think that the next evolution of action figure articulation or sculpting has yet to be made. And it's it, it makes me optimistic to see what comes next, you know. So even though I venture into other scales or anything like that, one six scale figures will always be where my heart lies because it's just the perfect size for me. So, yeah. Um. With that said, I appreciate you guys checking this little video out, and if you'd like to see more, please like, comment, and or subscribe. I'll catch you all next time.